to foo by coming home early to surprise my wife, who was having a surprise birthday party for me. I'm still chuckling at this even though it's kinda FD up. Long story short, I forgot my own birthday. Yeah yeah, I know it's weird, had a little bit of a rough childhood and my birthday was either never celebrated or forgotten well. Both. So as I grew older, I forgot about it myself, I mean, we never did anything and what not, so who cared? Now I'm married with a wonderful woman who's very thoughtful, but she always does some kind of party or date on my birthday. But sometimes I still forget, so today I came home early from work to surprise my wife. Who was surprising me? I walked in quietly, and I saw her in the kitchen, with flour and cake mix on her forehead and tapestries, birthday cups flowers and gifts around the table. She was making a cake, for a surprise party. My surprise birthday. My mouth dropped and I quietly walked backwards to the door, exiting quietly and waiting till 7.30 to come back home. My wife would be so sad and she was working so hard. So within the time frame of about three and a half hours, I practiced my oh my god I'm so surprised face. When I came home she yelled surprise. And I did a very crappy surprise face hugged her and we had a movie marathon. This secret will never come out. But I think this was the best birthday ever. I find this kind of funny. I will be taking this secret to my grave. Tafu by changing the birthday on my Twitter account. Turned 18 recently and figured that, now that I'm a legal adult, there was no reason to have my birthday set in 1990 on my account anymore, so I updated it to my real birthday of December 20, 2003. Unfortunately, as soon as I updated this information, my account was instantly suspended. Apparently, my birthday tipped off Twitter to the fact that I made my account two months before turning 13, and despite the fact that it's been 6 FING years since I made the account, what I did was apparently unforgivable. And now I'm permanently locked out of my account. I posted so much artwork, made so many friends, posted so many of my achievements, and all of it just vanished in the blink of a goddamn eye. The worst part is that there's nothing I can do about this. The only way you can appeal a suspension for this specific situation is by sending in a form of ID, and if I sent them something with my actual birthday on it, they'd see that I was indeed under 13 when I made my account, and refuse to give it back, but I'm not going to edit my birth certificate because that's illegal. 6 FING years of my entire online presence down the drain in a matter of seconds all because I wanted to update a line of information that nobody can even see anyway. Tafu by forgetting to flush at a girl's house. I had recently started dating this girl I met at work. Two nights ago I stayed the night for the first time, we went to watch the new Top Gun movie and then we made way to the beach, we planned to get dinner on the beach however the bipolar weather of South Florida had other plans and it started pouring. We came to the agreement we would go back to her place and she offered to cook a nice dinner for me. Never had a woman other than my mother cook for me so I was absolutely flattered. Flattered. To the point where I had forgotten to mention I was lactose intolerant. And she wanted it to be a surprise. She had me run to the store to grab some dog food and garlic bread while she cooked. I get back, pop in the kitchen, she ends up making a beautiful, delectable looking cheesy ass lasagna of all things, paired with baked asparagus and this garlic bread I had just purchased, not one. Of those frozen ones either, she bought the lasagna noodles and did that shit from scratch with the marinara, cheese, spices, and all. This smell was incredible to say the very least. It has 8 more minutes in the oven. No problem I think, a little cheese never stopped me, heavily mistaken. I run to my car to grab my lactate pills. Opens door to the realization that I had brought them in my house a couple days prior. Fuck. I end up saying what the hell and we have a nice dinner. Best lasagna Eve ever eaten in my life, I had three pieces and you could see on her face how happy she was I enjoyed it so much and I figure I will just leave rather early and deal with my bowel movements at a later time. I clean up the dinner mess and thank her very much for the nice dinner and movie date. I begin to gather my things and she looks at me with this very sad and adorable face and asks me if I could spend. The night. There's no getting out of this, she knows I have nothing to do tonight or the next day, it's a Friday night. I am off on weekends and she is aware of this. I enthusiastically agree, and she gives me a big hug. We're sitting on the couch watching a show called Midnight Gospel, I couldn't begin to tell you what was going on that show. My stomach was absolutely churning and I knew what had to be done. I tell her I must go to the shower and clean the day's filth off my body, perfect time to shit, it's a violent one, absolutely vile, chunky, watery, green, not to mention just an absurd amount, while the shower is running to suppress noise. I got a call from my friend during and completely forgot to flush. I hang up and jump in the shower. I go to the bedroom to change back into some pajamas she left out for me. She goes into shower after me. As in putting these pants on I hear a subtle what the fuck? To my horror, I realize exactly what had occurred, Dylan, you may want to flush next time, oh my lord. I was extremely embarrassed and had no words to say, luckily she was super cool about it and we actually had a good laugh about the shitty situation and ended up having a nice sleepover.
and I explained how I am lactose intolerant. Tafu by recommending a book at work and getting reported for sexual harassment. So I'm, mid-twenties male, finding about all of this as of yesterday. I work as an assistant manager at a retail chain in a fairly intimate environment due to how small the store is, about 15 staff total when the norm is about twice that. One of my associates, 19 years old female, is an avid reader, which was a great talking point because I also like to read. So we got to talking books and she was mentioning how she loves all types of fiction from the likes of Tolkien, G.R.R. Martin, Stephen King, Bradbury, etc. But she was looking to branch out a bit since it's usually either high fantasy or sci-fi. I thought I would recommend her one of my favorite books that's basically a day-in-the-life type book with some light fantasy elements, Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. For those that haven't read any of his work, he's fairly mature and graphic in his writing, dealing with things like mental illness, sexual tension slash escapism, suicide, etc. Which I made very clear to her before recommending and thought well, I remember loving this book right when I graduated high school and she reads Martin so this will be a nice read for her. Well, I was wrong. I was closing up shop yesterday when my general manager walks in on her day off saying she needs to speak to me. Turns out, said employee has filed a formal harassment charge against me for the book recommendation. We're still working on what to do next, but from the looks of it it's going to elevate to company HR and I'll either be best case taking a class or worst case fired over said book. Looking back, it was a total goober move to recommend a book like that at work. Edit for those asking, yes I did give the book to her the next day after I mentioned I had a copy and that she would like to read it. I have loaned this book out many times and thought nothing of it. My mistake, I know. To foo by giving my girlfriend money to surprise my boys. My GF and I have been dating for about a year and a month ago she moved in with me. She has no kids, but I have 11-year-old twin boys. I'm a single dad, their mom left shortly after she gave birth. In the beginning she would talk about my sons or goes to introduce them. Like me DJ and here are his sons with Down syndrome and oh yeah my BF has kids but they have Down syndrome and once commented to a friend yeah I want a baby but my BF has disabled. Jeans, I don't want a Down's baby. Which is incredibly ignorant and I've told her how this bothers me. Put people before their disabilities, they have names. She usually apologizes and laughs it off. I thought she was just oblivious and didn't understand disabilities. Twins with Down syndrome are unique and I tell them every day how special they are so when she is referencing them in a negative way, it's a relationship red flag. Today is their birthday and I gave her enough money to buy balloons, party supplies, each a cake. Their favorite food, and to get a slip and slide. She offered to do this while I was at work. She said she was getting her hair done and then would go shop and set everything up. I was so excited to surprise my boys. I pick my boys up from their summer day program and head home. I walk in and it's just my girlfriend. I asked her where everything was and she said, did you not see my text? There was a text hours ago saying, oh no I forgot my wallet hee hee. I said okay and? She forgot her wallet and used my money to pay for her hair. I told her. There was no way she didn't see it missing and started getting defensive. She said she had this hair appointment booked months in advance and would be put on a client blacklist at the salon for cancelling so she just used my money and insinuated she would do extra sexual favors to make it up to me. I asked her why she took my money that I gave her for my boys and she said it's not like they know it's their birthday, just tell them it's next month. I swear I have never felt so much rage in my life. We do not share bank accounts. She said you have a good job, I will pay you back. I told her I gave her everything I had left until I get paid again, I get paid monthly. She said I was acting crazy when I told her to go back to the salon and have them refund her, shave her bald, get a IOU, or start sweeping up hair for it. Then she says again that we can just pretend it's their birthday on another day. She said she has no money to give to me right now, I told her what she did was stealing, I wasn't going to have a thief in my house around my kids, and to get out. She started crying saying she has nowhere to go and that I can't just evict her. She is not on the lease and hasn't lived here a full month, nor does she have any mail with my address. I didn't realize until after she left that she stole my son's tablets and I'm in the process now of filing a police report and I'm shaking. I was distracted trying to calm them down because they got scared that I was upset. Not only do they have nothing for birthday they also don't have their tablets they use daily for communication and use nightly to calm down before bed. We have food but they were looking forward to having their favorites. I'm so tired of seeing people take advantage of people with disabilities who justify it as they don't know what's going on let alone have it happen at home.